Our discussion is all about multiplication fractions. Steps in multiplying fractions. First, you multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. Now, if the product is an improper fraction, change it to mixed numbers. And lastly, express the product in simplest form. We have an example. We have 6 8 times 1 half. So, you multiply the numerators. We multiply, we have 6. Then, multiply the denominators. We have 8 times 2. It's 16. Then, if the product is an improper fraction, change it into mixed number. As you can see in our answer, it's a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. But this time, it has a common factor between 6 and, 18, 6 and 16, so we need to get the lowest term but using continuous division method and their common factor is 2 so we have 3 and this is 8 then there's no common factor then our final answer is 3 eighths next steps in multiplying mixed fractions mixed fractions are fractions that have a whole number and a fraction so we have here the steps change the mixed numbers to improper fractions when you change the mixed number to improper fraction we need to multiply the numerator and the whole number then add it to the numerator then copy the denominator so we have 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 then uh, copy the denominator which is 3 that is if the given is mixed number you change it into an improper fraction so we are done with that then 6 over 9 is already in a proper fraction then we can uh, multiply that right away so multiply the numerators we have 48 and multiply the denominators we have 27 now if the product is an improper fraction change it to mixed numbers so meaning we as you can see, our answer is improper since the numerator is greater than the denominator. So how to change improper to mix? We need to divide the numerator to the denominator. We have 1, 27, 21. So our whole number is the quotient, which is 1. Our remainder is the numerator and then copy the denominator, which is 27. Then, express the product in simplest form. 21 and 27 can be reduced to lowest term. We reduce it using continuous division method. We have the common is 3. So, this 21 divided by 3. This is division. This is 7. And this is 9. Then, no common factor for 7 and 9 aside from 1. Then, our answer is 7, 9. And don't, don't forget the whole number here, which is 1. So, our answer is 1 and 7 ninths. Next, steps in multiplying whole number to mixed fractions. So, here are the steps. First, we put a 1 as a denominator of the whole number to make the whole number a numerator. So, in the example, our given is 6. It's a whole number. So, you just put 1 as a denominator. It's our step 1. Then, change the mixed number to improper fractions this is an improper uh, mixed number so we change that into improper fraction by multiplying the denominator and the whole number then adding it to the numerator so 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 then copy the denominator then we can now multiply we can now multiply the numerators which is 54 and we can now multiply the denominators which is 1 times 4 is 4 now, we're done with number 5. We, if the product is an improper fraction, change it to mixed numbers. Now, this is an improper fraction, so we need to simplify it to a mixed number. We have 4. This is 1, 4, 14. That is 3, 12, 2. Okay, so our answer is for our quotient, that's the whole number. Then the remainder is 2. Then copy the denominator, which is 4. 2 and 4, 
can still be reduced in lowest term. So we have 2, 1, and then 2. Okay, so our answer is 13 and 1 half. Let's have more examples. We have what is the product of 2 and 3 and 1 fifth? So again, if the given is a whole number, all you need is to put 1 as a denominator. And for if it, the given is a mixed number, change it into improper fraction by multiplying the denominator and a whole number and adding it to the numerator. So we have 15 plus 1, 16. Copy the denominator. Then we multiply 2 times 16. This is 32. Then 5. Then, since it's improper, we change it into a mixed number. We have 6 and 30. This is 2. So, our answer is 6 and 2 fifths. Next, what is 2 7 times 4 times 1 and 1 half? So, 2 7 is already in a proper fraction. So, we copy that. And for the whole number, which is 4, we just put 1 as a denominator. Then, for the 1 and 1 half, we change first into an improper fraction, so we have 3 over 2. Then, we can now multiply. 4 times 2 is 8, times 3, that is 24. Then, 7 times 1, 7 times 2 is 14. Then, it's still an improper fraction, so we need to simplify and change it to a mixed number. So, we have 1, 14, 10, and our answer is 1 and 10 over 14. Now, 10 and 14 can still be reduced in lowest terms. So, the common of the 2 is 2, then 5, and this is 7. So, the answer is 1 and 5, 7. I want you to try these examples. Then, you check if your answer is correct. Here are the answers. For 2 and 1 fourth times 3 and 2 third, we have 8 and 1 fourth. For 3 times 1 and 1 half times 1 third, the answer is 1 and 1 half. 